Oh, I'm sure that this platform thinks I'm just going to lay down because they canceled my lives, but, you know, I'm just going to fire back harder. Every time you mute me, TikTok, you're telling me what you want me to make next, and I'm going to make more of that because I am not like other people. I don't run by habit. I've got your comments in front of me on TikTok. You've called it before a clear and present danger to national security. I'm sure TikTok would disagree with that characterization as well. Can you give us some concrete examples, sir, of why you think that's the case? Yeah, the track record with TikTok's malign conduct is very clear at this point. For years, they told U.S. lawmakers, don't worry, U.S. user data isn't even existing inside China. And then a blockbuster report came out in 2022 that showed no, in fact, quote, everything is seen inside of China based on leaked materials. That's keystroke patterns, biometrics, search and browsing history, location. Then second of all, what the CCP are doing with that data is very nefarious. They use access to that data, personnel in Beijing did, to surveil the locations of specific Americans, journalists, that were writing negative stories about TikTok. Third, TikTok said, okay, you caught us red-handed. We're going to wall off U.S. user data, but lo and behold, the Wall Street Journal report came out and found that personnel in Beijing are still getting access to that data, sensitive U.S. user data, after agreeing to wall it off. And the, the record goes on from there, including TikTok's parent, ByteDance, having a CCP cell embedded in its leadership. So this is about the malign conduct that an entity that is beholden to the CCP has been engaged in. You know... Okay, he's getting. They're getting ready to get into it. Never mind. Data. You're talking about Project Texas. Yeah, Oracle. Has it, has here it not in Texas, at all? Oracle. Oracle is no, responsible for some of this. Materials had TikTok trust and safety officials themselves saying that it remains to be seen whether product and engineering, meaning Beijing, can still get access to U.S. user data after mitigations like Project Texas are put in place. Second of all, that walling off of data that we just talked about was part of Project Texas, and again, Beijing still got access to it. And even TikTok CEO has That's said Oracle's Project fault. Texas will keep data from going to Beijing except when we allow it pursuant to what they claim are new controls. So Project Texas is about as secure as a sieve at the end of the day. In a day of uh, interesting right. and odd political bedfellows, what we saw yesterday in Capitol Hill is a lot of individuals come out and talk about free speech on the progressive left and the right. Ron Paul saying he's going to block anything that's contrary to the Constitution. Do you agree? Is there a free speech issue at play here? You know, look, Rand Paul's been great on these uh, liberty issues. This particular bill does not trigger a First Amendment concern for one main reason. The Supreme Court has drawn a clear line between regulations Hello, based Rand on Paul. content of speech on That's the one awesome. hand and regulation of conduct on the other. And this plainly is a conduct law, meaning we're acting because of the demonstrated malign national security threat of TikTok, not because of the content of anybody's speech. And the bill is narrowly tailored, which is key for First Amendment analysis, because it simply requires divestment, meaning the millions of Americans that love TikTok, I'm not one of them, but they can continue to use the application, but just in a more secure way. So because of the conduct at issue here, the Constitution does not compel us to require a national security threat to continue to persist. Well, there's one politician in D.C. who certainly likes TikTok, and that's President Biden. The sense of his campaign, they feel like they're <laughs> able to reach the yes, youth does, by he? using TikTok. So, Ain't that if right, TikTok Harry? TikTok is divested, there's a sale. <laughs> would that mean that the Biden campaign can continue using it? But do you think it'll be safer? Probably as high as Harry. You know, a lot of people raise that concern about the Biden administration being on TikTok, but Biden administration officials have been very clear. Uh, that there's a national security threat Harry here. makes That's more than Biden Biden's security guard. Squares the circle because then the campaign or anybody's campaign could continue or start to be on TikTok, it's but without enough. that Guys, serious national not, security risk that's present doesn't today. Doesn't have to be guarded Commissioner, anymore. given the fact that we've heard that from President <laughs> Mr. Brown uh, Biden, I'm curious about your comments from the former President Trump, who seems to be, I don't know, less clear about what he thinks of this bill, saying oh, how you did... know, that there's a lot of good, there's a lot of bad with TikTok, talking about how it increases the prevalence of meta. What do you make of his comments? Yeah, I think, first of all, President Trump, you know, fundamentally reshaped Washington, D.C. to understand the serious threat posed by the CCP. He's also raised concerns, as I have, with the conduct of big tech companies that are based right here in Silicon Valley. And those exactly. are real concerns. He exactly. pushed for Section 230 reform, which I supported and had hoped we would have gotten across the finish line at the FCC by now, and we had it. But TikTok presents obviously sort of a threat that's fundamentally different 
than U.S. Like, what is he doing about all this? What is this guy doing about all of this? He's supposed to be controlling all of it. He is the Federal Communications Center, dude. Federal Communications Commission. You're the one controlling all of this communications. What the fuck are you doing? Big tech companies for all my concerns. Deflecting. With their it's conduct, all they're good for. Many. All of them. Once we deal Nothing with but the deflection. Security threat from TikTok, oh, which it's you not my responsibility. It's somebody that else's. Begin, we should move Bullshit. very quickly, as President Trump has outlined on Section 230 reform, and in my view, affirmative anti-discrimination obligations that would apply across the board. But until you break that link to the CCP, um, a lot of other reforms just aren't going to work out. But it does feel like he flip-flopped on this in the sense that he wanted to ban it under his administration. Um, it then got held up in court. And now he's saying he's really not so sure about it. Do you think we could see on that a flag. different, if he was That's to become symbolic. president of the United States, a different view on TikTok because of his concerns of how big Meta is? Well, again, I think the reason why this bill is such a smart approach is because it's not a ban bill, it's a divestment. And so you, you would have TikTok go to a different, doesn't even need to be a U.S. company, it could be any company that's not chi tied to China, Russia, North Korea, or Iran. So you can continue to have TikTok in the marketplace as a counterweight to Facebook, as a counterweight to others, but it can be there in a way that doesn't present the national security threat, so it keeps that competition high. Commissioner, we seem to be ill-equipped to deal with these issues. It's been four years, about four years, since we've been talking about this, and hardly anything has happened just in terms of actually passing proper policy to do something about these national security concerns. Uh -huh. I think back to China. And we're all smiling. It's easy, it's we're all smiling. She comes out and says no, and then that's it. It's banned. We're it's all, all banned. not doing so our job Facebook, and YouTube, smiling. No access. Why are we so ill-equipped in the West to deal with these threats, and how do we go about changing that? Looks like you won something there. <laughs> I did my test, guys. I love this. Check this out. Mute. Totally mute. I'll mute that, oh. I'll mute the next one, too. System, obviously, than they do in China. And some people raise concerns about will China engage in some sort of reciprocal action based on that. And I remind people, Facebook and other U.S. technology companies are already banned in China. So, yes, we move more slowly. We move in a much more considered way. And obviously, don't underestimate the fact that, you know, ByteDance has put every single amount of lobbyist dollar to possible to slow roll this. And people look at the 118th Congress and they say, tyranny. you know, yeah. they have a hard time getting things done as a general well, matter. American soul with American but this platforms. is one where the 118th and Speaker Johnson can land a significant legislative win, not just on a tough issue, but as you know, on a technology issue where it's sometimes difficult for Congress to act. And that's why Basically, he's saying that it's difficult for all of them to do their job, and they're not, and that they're not. And I'm absolutely tired of hearing this horse shit, because that's all we hear from them is the same old, same old. Well, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. And this is the guy in charge of communications for the United States. Goes, goes, girls and guys. It just frustrates me so bad that I can't even think straight and talk. You know. Because these are the people that are supposed to be leading us in these departments. And they have no responsibility and zero authority on the matter. And it's clear to me that that's the case by everything that they're saying and everything that they're not doing. You know? And now it's up to the citizens. Sit in sins. Now it's up to the actually free live men that aren't enrolled in this straw man fallacy that we got going on that is our sinful leaders and how they've contracted our souls and sold out our bodies you know and then they stand up here in front of us with their gold fringed American flags talking about well it's somebody else's fault that's not how leaders work leaders take responsibility and they make change you are a puppet, sir. You are a puppet, Brandon Carr. You can take control of this, but you choose not to. And for that, you should be punished. You are in a position where you can be tried and court-martialed for treason because you're doing nothing about it on American soil or off American soil. And we as creators are fed up with it. It's a bunch of nonsense, and it needs to stop now. Subscribe if you agree.